What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis and today it's Friday. I have a new review for you. We're going to talk about something that just came out. Look at this little guy. This is a little 3 inch with 1080p DVR on board shooting 60 frames per second. It's got a little micro SD card slot in the side here. But what's really interesting about this quad is it's from a company called LDARC and years ago on my channel we it's been years now actually it seems like a long time since we had a really good king kong um, quad on the channel that was an original company coming out of china and they recently in the last couple of years changed their name to ldarc so here we are with a new batch of releases coming out and i had to get one because it has this sort of egg style canopy on there some of you guys that are just getting into the hobby don't remember the egg style canopies but these were cool because they're all aluminum they are fairly lightweight, but also in this box that you get, LDARC is really awesome to give us really nice cases along with their drones and lots of extras and an extra plastic style canopy. It's sort of a neon yellow. And we're going to look at that on the bench here in a second when we do the spec check. But what I like about this one versus um, some of the other super beastie 6S 3 inch quads out there I've been reviewing, um, this one's not really so much all about speed. It is about versatility though, because it will do a multitude of things. You can sort of uh, fly it slow and do some slow flow type flying uh, on 3S, and you can do some cinematic type stuff with this type of DVR, or you can put a 4S battery on here and you can record some really sweet freestyle footage. So um, max punch and some really nice footage to go along with it that doesn't seem to drop frames and have a lot of chop. So the new Turtle V2 is actually pretty good. But before we go too long in the intro, uh, let's go ahead and jump right over to the bench. And then I'm going to give you a really nice flight and overview of this quad. And then we'll come back to the studio and I'll give you my final review and score as always on this new quad. This is the 130 GTI. Here we go. Let's go ahead and dive into the spec check. So we're going to do a 3 to 4S battery today. An 850 milliamp battery is what I'm going to recommend. And we have a 130 millimeter wheelbase squash X design. LDARC motors that are 1406, 3600 kV. So not super hopped up, but not slow either. We also have an LDARC 200 milliwatt VTX with smart audio, which is great. And we have an LDARC Matek F411 with 20 amp ESCs, the Turtle Cadex V2, 1080p at 60 frames per second. We have a dipole up top here. We have a buzzer, LEDs here, and the XT30 is here. And also up front, we have the Cadex Turbo Eye camera with 800 TVL and 155 degrees field of view. Two camera position points right here. You can change that for more angle of tilt or more protection. And it is a damn near indestructible type of frame. We also have a flat top on the very top for any type of action camera and a battery strap with a little bit of foam. We also have four millimeter carbon unibody bottom on this baby. And the box actually fits the quad in it with the props on that's kind of nice for travel and making sure you protect your quad no problem we also get an extra canopy in there and that's kind of cool ldrc is kind of synonymous with giving lots of extras with their quads in the box we also get some extra tpu landing gear for the bottom just to protect the bottom of the quad on those super hard landings and you get extra props in here these are three by five three inch props let's go ahead and put it on the scale we're at around 149.7 grams without a battery. Now 4S850, that's going to get us an upwards of 247.6 grams, under 250 grams. I was actually wrong about that. So it's good to see that this is under 250 G. That's really awesome. Now we're at 220 with the 3S850. Not bad at all. All right, guys, let's go ahead and do the flight test. This is the Cadex Turtle V2 that you're looking at right here. And we're just going to do some big field flying here. I am testing it out right now on 25 milliwatts, so forgive me if I didn't put the feed up in here, but I want to just see the clarity of this V2. See that little bit of vibration there at the low end of the power loop? Not really a power loop, that was just kind of a loop over the tree. But I did see flutter from time to time at the bottom of some of my power loops where there was, it was the, the quad's falling through some prop wash. I'll give you an example of that right here. I'm just going to. You saw it at the apex, right at the top of the throttle. Not so much on the, the bottom of that one, but that one did pretty good. But look at how good this camera looks. This looks pretty damn good. Now, one thing that I was really happy with is the tune on this quad. 
this did not have to be tuned. I could also probably do a little bit of tuning to tune out some of that prop wash. But I'm really happy with it out of the box. And this is what you guys are seeing. This is what it's going to fly like for you out of the box. It's not like some of the diatone prototypes that I've had where I had to like spend an hour or two tuning it and provide that to you. But look at the clarity. It's awesome. Even upside down, it looks cool. But a pretty decent camera. And I don't know that I've had a copy of this yet. And I thought I had a gap right here and did a little durability test. And I actually did smack this thing down quite a few times. And I just walked it over, set it back down, didn't even replug it back in. I just let it keep recording and I was back up again. Didn't even bend a prop. It's a lot of mud out here as you can see on the ground. It's been raining all week and today was the first day I was able to just get out and kind of just cruise around with the quad. So I thought I'd grab this GTI and see what this was all about. So I've been flying a lot of three inch lately and the 369, just one of the most awesome quads I've flown recently on 6S. But this is getting back to our 3S roots here with three and 4S capability. And it's capable to do some you know, some nice loops through, it loops and rolls through the trees. You can get pretty creative with this type of stuff. It's kind of fun. So now I'm switching it up to uh, 200 milliwatt, and we're just going to go ahead and save that in our smart audio. Now we're going to go back and save and exit. Okay, so I'm going to put this down at the bottom left for you guys to see. It's not going to line up perfectly. It drives me crazy because. I'm recording 1080p here in the big screen at 60 frames per second, and the lower one is not doing 60 frames per second, let me just tell you that. So we're seeing two different things right here, but first time I've gone through that tree gap, but I might have to try that again, because that was kind of fun. Let's do that dive again down through here, and that one, man, that one leaf is really in the way. So that's enough of that. Let's go ahead and get back to that nice big camera view here. The VTX does work great, and 200 milliwatt will put me all the way across this field to the other side. So I had no problem with penetration, even around all these trees, and I avoided the leaf that time, that nasty little leaf sticking out. And back through the trees here, back down low to the ground. Has a lot of control. I see a little bit of difference there between the light and the dark when I come back down out of the darkness into the light. It's taking a little time to adjust. And let's see if we can make this. Nice. And back up and over again. Massive swath of trees. That's a lot of fun. I got the park all to myself today. There is a couple guys walking around there in and out of the bushes. Sometimes on the far darkest side of the field. So I'm kind of staying away from that side. There's a lot of homeless dudes over there. doing knows who knows what I've seen some pretty sketchy stuff out here in this park so I, I usually avoid this place it's like zombies out here so try that dive again there's that nasty leaf again right where I need to scoot through so let's go ahead and try this uh, quad again for some power loops it does power loops no problem 4s is like really awesome you're gonna get about three and a half minutes to four minutes flight time and it tracks really well. The lines are nice and clean. It feels good on the sticks. I'm not really upset at all about the tune. I think the tune is pretty good for a stock quad. And I honestly haven't seen any releases from LDARC in a little over a year on my channel. Uh, maybe even two years. It seems like forever since we've seen anything from them. And uh, King Kong, as you know, changed their name to LDARC. So now they are otherwise AKA. LDARC, but I used to fly a lot of the King Kong stuff and it was really good stuff. I had fun with it because it was cheap and they usually, they usually flew well. So like the poor man's GEP RC, if you will. Usually good stuff out of the box. So I'm not surprised that this one is good. And the video looks fantastic. I'm not complaining about the video. Do yourself a favor, if you decide to get an SD card, make sure you run the U3 Gold with over 75 megabit rate uh, for the bit rate. 
75 to 95. It's usually the best high bit rate for these type of DVRs from Cadex. I usually have the best luck, no freezes, no drop frames. Some of the older run cams, uh, run cam 1080p DVRs with kind of like with the splits would freeze up if you used a cheap SD card. But right now you're looking at 3S and if you want to start out on 3S, if you're brand new to FPV, just cruise, get out there and cruise just like this. This battery was all about just kind of cruising around the park, feeling it out. I have a really keen awareness of where I'm going with my quad over someone that's brand new. So, And I've also flown these lines through here for years. So I can come through here inches above the ground. I know where these trees are. But I don't know where the zombies are, so look out for the zombies. It's about a duck under this sign right here. And you can see it great in the DVR, but you can't quite see that as good through the camera view. Camera view is just a little more sketchy, as most of you guys know, but um, I think we have a decent release here from LDARC. I, I kind of like the 130 GTI. It's pretty good quad. Not bad at all. All right, guys, welcome back from the flight test. So what did you think about this quad as far as the 3S battery, the 4S battery goes? I think it kind of covers a lot of ground with this quad. A lot of people want to buy like a 6S type rig, but then again, if you're flying a, a 6S 3 inch with um, some super low KV motors on there, the problem with that is, is that if you're a beginner and you want to start out on 3S, it's going to be wildly underpowered if you buy a 6S setup expecting to fly 3S on there. Um, so you're better off starting out with a 3 to 4S type quad and uh, moving up to 6S later because you can still fly 4S on a 6S battery and it's going to kind of feel like 3 used to feel to you uh, if that makes any sense. So um, the, hot, the lower you get with the KVs, the, the, the lower end batteries don't work quite as well. It still needs a lot of voltage to push these and, and get those maximum revolutions out of there and the, and the power you're looking for. So um, I, I think that it's a nice cruiser on 3S. You can start out as a beginner on 3S and do some slow flow cinematic type stuff with it. And then later on you can move up to 4S and this is great for guys that are already flying. If you want a three inch, that's crazy, stupid, durable. Um, I, I crashed this thing all over the place. It has a super thick little squashed X frame here that took loads of punishment. I, I hit a tree and I hit one of those exact same trees in a previous video a couple years ago and I broke the arm uh, on my first like 15 seconds out there. Uh, those, those oak trees out there are super, super dense. Um, cut. Those oak trees out there are super, super hard. So um, they're not very forgiving to a quad frame. But I also like the fact that they didn't put 1408s on this quad because if they did put 1408s on here, all it would have been doing is it would have been sucking out your extra battery juice and giving you much less flight time. With the 1406 motors on here, we're getting a nice punch out, but we're still getting a pretty good flight time at about three and a half to four minutes. If you're just cruising on the throttle with that 4S850, you can get four minutes all day with this quad because they kind of motored down here um, with this power setup. Now one con about this quad that I didn't like was that they're using sort of this old school type of uh, clockwise and counterclockwise nut system on here. You can see some of them on the screen here are black and some are silver and I really wish these companies would stick to just clockwise type screws. Uh, righty tighty, lefty loosey, that's all we need. But I think overall this quad performed quite well. It's tough. The tune on here is actually really really good for an out of the box tune and uh, even though I think it could be a little bit better, you're not going to be disappointed with this quad. I think that the video on board as well with the Turtle V2 looks absolutely awesome. It looks really, really nice because the day I was flying, it was just a little bit overcast outside and pretty wet on the ground. So overall, we pretty much have all the bells and whistles that you could want out of a 4S 3-inch quad right here. So um, LEDs, tough frame, nice thick unibody carbon core on the bottom and some plastic standoffs in here strengthening things even further and they include two sets of props in the box as well and you get the case with it so um, my overall rating for this one today it's going to have to be pretty high at about a 4.6 out of 5 so uh, i like this quad and it's it's on my my friends list so thanks again for watching my channel guys i'm justin davis take care have a good weekend and i'll see you on the next one